How's it going everybody? In today's video, we're checking out all the cool tech that there is available in this year CES. And believe me, there was a lot that I couldn't fit in in this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the ones that stood out the most. For instance, this company by Gentex is creating a bunch of unique concepts on certain things. One example is the lack of side view mirrors. They are fitting retro mods on existing vehicles to eliminate side mirrors and replace them with visible cameras you can see right here. But my most favorite one is the lack of sun visors. As these sun visors are swapped with these transparent sun visors that are able to be adjusted to block out as much sun as possible. There is a 10 second delay for it to actually kick in. But once you see it in real life, I can see this being functional, especially for very tall people. Now this is a new EV company that unveiled their electric pickup truck and this is from Venfast. And this is their wild electric pickup truck. Right now it's all a concept, but it was pretty interesting seeing it in person. But the most interesting one was this flying car, which looks like they just took propellers off a drone and glued it on the roof. But regardless, all these are just concept, but the most interesting one was the ones that are currently being able to be driven on the road, and that is BMW, as this is their all new redesigned X2 with the version 9 hardware, which allows the vehicle to play Mario Kart using existing controllers from official consoles, and its AI is so advanced that you could talk to it like a normal human being. Take a listen to how they demonstrate this. Hey BMW, I have a question about my car. Sure, how can I help? What are some interesting features about this car? This car has many interesting features, such as the BMW curved display and augmented view, which uses live video and augments it with routing information for the perfect overview while navigating. There are also many modes to choose from, such as personal, sport, efficient, expressive, relax, and digital art mode. Can you set the mode to uh, sport? Drive mode has been set to sport. On second thought, which of those modes would you recommend for a drive? Drive mode has been set to expressive. Wow, you can read my mind. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. I just set the drive mode to sport based on your last request. Do you want to change the drive mode? I've noticed at the traffic light that the engine turns off. Why is that? The engine turns off at the traffic light to save fuel. The auto start slash stop function helps reduce emissions and consumption by switching off the engine when the vehicle is stationary, such as at traffic lights. When the brake is released or the accelerator is pressed, the engine restarts immediately. Is this the same thing as efficient driving mode? No, efficient driving mode is a digital service that conveys driving pleasure through the most efficient use of available resources so that the passengers arrive at their destination relaxed. So you should get the concept by now. It basically just allows you to speak to your car like a normal human being and it'll respond as if you're talking to a tech technician from BMW themselves to answer any questions you may have. But from there, we hopped into the Boring's company Vegas Loop, which will soon connect every casino, including the airport, to this tunnel system, basically like a subway. But you're not at risk of annoying idiots dumping stuff on you. Hopefully, you know about what virtual video I'm talking about. And you'll be able to use your own personal vehicle to get out of the subway instead of just leaving it in the back and having a backtrack. As of right now, it's open to the public, and it's currently just a concept, as it's only connected to the convention center, and one casino for my knowledge, but getting in and out of the car was really awesome as it saved me 10 minutes from having to lift to the other side or spending about 15 minutes just to walk across the building to get to this side. And this was only like a two minute process. But once I got out, I found this company, which is making a clone of the Apple Vision. Real, was really interesting. Uh, visuals wasn't bad, but um, it's questionable. It's definitely a knockoff. I'll just leave it as that. But walking into the LG booth, this is literally the start of the show. As LG was showing off their transparent OLED TVs. Yes, you heard me right. These are transparent. And in real life, they actually look really amazing. It's so trippy. It looks almost holographic at times. Now, they're able to accomplish this by using this new OLED T is what LG is calling it which allows the black pixels to actually become transparent, giving it that transparent illusion. But if you're watching a movie or something like that, and you want the black pixels to be black again, by bringing down these black curtains in the back, this will allow the image, that black image pixel to no longer be clear and just be pitch black, like a true OLED TV is, giving you that crystal clear quality, which I thought was quite unique. And all these TVs were wireless too. 
Uh, so you just connect to a, like a little black box that just hangs out on the side. And then if LG were to make a car, it'll look like this. This is LG's Alpha Bowl. It's a fully electric EV, but it has a screen up front that allows pedestrians to actually see and when it's safe for them to cross. It will also project little arrows on the front of the vehicle as well as it does have projectors, which can also be used to watch a movie. Now the interior is very sci-fi concept car vibes. It's all the seats are meant to swivel. There's screens in front that allows you to actually eliminate all the pillars so you can see directly in front of the vehicle without any B or A pillars blocking your visibility. It's really interesting. Now, Anchor was also showing off some unique things that got my interest. Aside from now going into the power bank business, competing against the Tesla Powerwall, these look extremely good in person with the little LCD screen to give you more information on what's going on. Anchor is definitely going into the smart home battery power biz. But up front, they were showing off their next generation of MagGo accessories, which are now on the second generation of Qi 2 wireless charging, which means just like the official MagSafe charger, these can now wirelessly charge your Apple devices at 15 watts. And there's a variety of different ones to choose from. There's some awesome ones like this 3-in-1, which will hold your Apple Watch, AirPods, and your phone. But then you also have these ones that have a built-in power bank. I'm probably gonna pick one up myself, but I'm happy to know that they're now on the G2 generation. And then Pens, they were also showing off some iPhone accessories, one of which they can actually print out amazing cases, amazing designs on iPhone cases. This is it, how it looks like on the iPhone 15 Pro. And then the Bugatti Boost was showing off the Bugattis that people can own, which is these electric scooters, which are pretty cool because I see them at Costco, they have like a projector that displays the Bugatti logo at night, turn signals, and it also has this back suspension from my understanding, a rear suspension. Now Kodak also was here, but aside from their cameras, they also have their Kodak picture frames, which are pretty interesting. They have, a, they have a variety of different unique ones to choose from. There's some that are fully wireless, bigger or larger ones, and there's like the budget price versions as well. Now, into the VR stuff. I was trying out this e-commerce focus AR VR headset. It's primarily automated reality focus, which allows it to actually use this as a co-op for like the medical field engineering and i was trying it out it was super unique a lot different than the ar glasses that's for sure where the cable feels bulky it's out of the way this one actually was feeling nicely balanced and such but this one's still in the prototype stage and uh, since this is an e-commerce product it's gonna be on the pricey side but consumers can purchase this if they really need something like this. But I was actually genuinely surprised how lightweight it was and it, it felt like I was just wearing a common hat, honestly. Now coming outside, I found this interesting looking helicopter, which totally seems like something that Gru will personally fly in this big well me. It's just goofy looking. But this company specializes in electric motors and one example that they recently have on display was this funny looking helicopter. Now when it comes to automotive security, Bumper is the name of this company and they specialize in producing these OBD2 insert style security systems you can just put in any vehicle that has an OBD2 port and will give your vehicle the most advanced alarm system possible as it's smart enough to identify each movement, super delicate and sensitive where it will send you real world notifications to your smartphone alerting you that someone's breaking in, your vehicle is being towed or a hit and run took place right then and there. Now I looked on their website, it seems promising, and there's a monthly subscription, however. So you have to do a one-time purchase and subscribe to their monthly subscription. But I know to some car people, this could be a massive selling point. So I'm personally interested in it, and I may try out their pride personally to maybe do a car tech review. Now this final one is my personal favorite, and this is car tech that's coming out in the near future. Remember how backup cameras used to be like a luxury option, but now it's standard for new manufacturers, thanks to the NHTSA for making this into the standard for all new vehicles? Well, now there's a new thing that's coming out and will become standard, and that is thermal imaging. Now Owl Autonomous Imaging is one of the companies that's on top of this and producing this impressive hardware where OEMs can easily just integrate this on upcoming vehicles once it's become approved and will become the new vehicle standards, which will allow the vehicle safety system to automatically brake when necessary before colliding into objects, humans, or animals. And this should prevent front end collisions, especially when driving in terrible environments like fog or blizzards. Because as I demonstrate in this booth, RGB cameras have a hard time 
identifying subjects in these type of hard environment. Meanwhile, with thermal imaging, it could bypass this and still be identifying things just off of body temperature. Now, OWL Autonomous Imaging, they have the hardware down and everything. Super simple as everything is literally all compact and just connects off a single circuit board with a single cable. So very soon we'll be able to see this in future vehicles. So now gone are a day where thermal imaging is a luxury option and now will become the new standard and I'm definitely looking forward to it. And there you guys have it. Those are all the cool things I was able to find this year in CES. Thank you guys so much for watching.